So Jonathan Tosini is a friend of mine. We met early on on the campaign trail in 2016. And then we reunited later in Philadelphia as national delegates. Not only is Jonathan a personal friend of Senator Bernie Sanders, he has been fighting for us in the revolution since he was in his teens as well. Jonathan is a strategist, an organizer, activist, commentator, and writer. He was the president of the National Writers Union from 1990 to 2003. In 2016, he challenged U.S. Senator Hillary Clinton for the Democratic primary, principally because of her vote to allow us to go into war with Iraq. Yeah. So thank you for that. Since then, Jonathan has been busy traveling as a surrogate for the senator, writing his book, <laughs> The Essential Bernie Sanders and His Vision for America. And in my opinion, most impressively, he's been showing up for down-ballot candidates, coming to their campaign headquarters, and working so that we can help Bernie enact all of these policies when we win the presidency. Well, good evening. Thank you very much. Are we all excited? Are we ready to win? So uh, I'm going to be very brief. I have a few points to make, but I want to start by, first of all, let's give it up for the band again. Where is the band, right? <laughs> Great job of meeting us and getting us all pumped up and excited. Awesome music, awesome music. I want to thank my friend, Amanda. Where did you go? Right behind me. <laughs> One of the great things of having been traveling for Bernie Sanders, and really the travel I did was in 2015 and 2016. I remember in 2015, when Bernie was in fact 2% in the polls when we were traveling in South Carolina. Um, I'm doing more now work locally than traveling for the campaign. I just do stuff online and I try to work with um, down ballot candidates as Mandolin mentioned. But one of the great things of any campaign is you get to meet lots of great people. Lots of great people who put their heart and soul behind this political revolution. Because really, and I'm going to talk briefly about Bernie in a second, really this political revolution does not happen without people like Mandolin. And many of you here out in the, in the crowd, people who take the time, people who put hours volunteer time, people who invest some of their own hard-earned money, but it's really about the passion and the time that all those people, and I, I was privileged to meet hundreds of people across the nation in 2015 and 2016, and you all are the core of this political revolution. And again, let's give it up for Mandolin, who has done so much work in this area, not just in this campaign, but in previous, previous years. I also want to make note of where we are here, where our meeting is being held. I am, def I am proud of all the things that Mandolin mentioned, that very nice and um, introduction. But the thing that I'm most proud of is that I'm a union member. And I'm proud to be part of organized labor. And here we are in the hall of one of the great progressive unions, the International Longshore and Warehouse Union. And I had the privilege actually of working in Australia with their sisters and brothers in the Maritime Union. I am telling you, these folks, when you say salt of the earth, that defines the ILWU. And when you go home, if you haven't heard about the history of the ILWU, don't do it now. Google Harry Bridges, who, ha who started this union, Australian, and learn about the history of this union. Because at the core of this union and the core of the labor movement is really what we are about. And look over on this wall. An injury to one is an injury to all. An injury to one is an injury to all. That is at the core of what our movement is about. That if there's one person who does not have decent health care, who is bankrupted because they get ill, that hurts every single one of us. If there are billionaires like Jeff Bezos who are exploiting their workers, that is an injury to every single one sitting here in this room. And that's what our political revolution is about. Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders. Now, you all know what.
what Bernie stands for. I'm not going to go through here all these great issues because you're going to have some great speakers and people telling you about the specific issues. But let me tell you one thing about this man. He's a mensch. A mensch. I like that word. One of my favorite grandmother's words was a mensch. My Jewish grandmother. The thing that people ask me repeatedly when they came up to me at these rallies in 2016, they didn't ask me about Medicare for all. They didn't ask me about student debt. They all knew those issues. They said to me, what is Bernie really like? And here was the answer that I gave every single time. When Bernie talks to 20,000 people in an arena, he is the same person and he's saying the same things as if he was sitting next to you one-on-one -on -one and speaking to you. And that is the authenticity of this man that has captivated people, not just now, but going back 30 and 40 years, that when he stands before a crowd and talks about his deep beliefs, he is speaking from the heart. His core beliefs, we don't have to go through every single of pieces of the agenda, his core beliefs about equity, about justice, about fairness, those are the things that he says to big crowds and one-on-one. -on -one. And I think that's one reason, that's the main reason that the energy, the people who have come to this movement, if you look at where we started in 2015, when he was 2% in the polls, to the point at which he will be the next president of the United States. It's because of that authenticity, the hundreds of thousands of people who have connected with him, who understand that they can trust him. The second point I want to make, but he is just one man. A reporter asked me recently, just a few days ago, is this a question of a man or a movement? And my answer was both. It's important to have a leader that we can trust, who is authentic, who we know that when he is in the White House, he will do what he has promised. But no man or woman, no one politician can win without a movement. And so there really is an injury to one is an injury to all. There really is content and, in, and an important message behind not me, us. We would not be sitting here today if thousands, hundreds of thousands of people had not built a movement over many years. Medicare for all is a great example. People have been fighting for Medicare for all for 25 years. John Conyers, you may remember, congressman, African-American congressman, a great leader in the House, carried the banner for Medicare for all year after year, H.R. 676. Year after year, in the wilderness, in the wilderness. But all of us, the nurses union, those of us who supported Medicare for All, who were behind it for 10 or 20 years, we laid the groundwork. We laid the groundwork for the campaign of Bernie Sanders. Today, every day there's a, a victory. I was just told, if you hadn't heard, that the Progressive Caucus of the Washington State Legislature has endorsed Bernie Sanders for president. Yeah. Washington State Democrats, I'm being corrected. I assume somehow Democrats. It's, it's different. It's, it's the Central Committee of Emergency Democrats. Sorry. <laughs> Just being technical. Good job, Washington State Democrats, for endorsing uh, Bernie Sanders from the Progressive Caucus. Yeah. If you had told me 10 or 15 years ago that it would be the law of the land, that anybody could marry whoever they wanted to, whoever they loved, I would have told you, not possible. But that is the law today, and that is because of our movement, because of how many people marched and demanded that right. And so here's my last point. When we go out to talk to people in the streets, and I, I tend to be someone who's been involved in lots of campaigns who looks at the mechanics, how important it is to organize door by door. Think about the not me, us, in this way. Not everybody is with us yet. And we have to be as welcoming as possible. When we say not me, us, 
That means everyone, because an injury to one is an injury to all. An injury to one is an injury to all. So when you go knock on doors, when you go talk to people in your communities, understand that they may not be with us, but that our issues are real. Our movement is powerful. It is building, and we need them to be successful because an injury to one is an injury to all. Thank you very much.